So hello everyone and welcome to the Nightmare card. This is a game that came out recently on Steam and I figured why not give it a try since it's free. So here we are and I'm gonna most likely deal with the campaign. Let me just quickly check the I can use my controller for this. Seems like I can. Alrighty, alrighty. So I'm gonna use controller. Let's jump into the campaign. Let's do new game. The dream watchers notice your presence. Continue. The dream watchers don't seem concerned with your reasoning as to why you are visiting the city of Meralodia. The dream watchers want you to sign a contract. Seems harmless. What is your name? Alrighty, alrighty. Let's do the good old trusted G bit. Where is B? There is B. Why is this not the layout I'm used to? There we go. That should work. Although, you know what? Let's do. Let's do the full name, let's do Gabriel Biscuit. Oh, we cannot put the, put the full name. So let's just do Gabriel. Also, hello there, Bonix. Nice to see you arrive. Gabriel, is that correct? Yes. The Dream Watchers want to know more. Let's use this voice, I think. Voice 2, is this correct? Yes. Team Dream Watchers offer you mysterious keys. Choose one. Hunter card or Hunter motorcycle. I'm gonna go for the handling, I think. So let's do the Hunter card. You begin to feel drowsy. Looks like a melted clock. I'm not too sure what to think about this. So, the nightmare begins again. So the nightmare begins again. I don't know why it's so quiet. It's A to accelerate. Also, before I do that, let me check the audio. I'm gonna increase the overall to the maximum. I guess let's put it to 200. And then let's lower the music to like 150 and let's lower the SFX to like 150. Should be fine. Zoom. Just so that the dialogues can be heard. Press the button to boost. Alrighty. Aether wiles. Okay. So far I understand it. This has some really beautiful visuals. Steering is fine by me. Hold I'll be to drift. Okay, I'm not very good at drifting, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, let's try. Okay, that works, that works. Hold A, B to power brake. 
Power breaking is the fastest way to turn. You can even turn in place. Yo, let's go. We can make donuts. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, I see how the power break works. Okay, okay. Press LB after I jump to do a trick. If I can get on the ring. Yo, let's go freaking spin me there. Successful tricks will generate Aether visuals. Okay, okay. Aether vials, I mean. Drive through the white flare to receive a power up. RB to use it. I'm not sure what that did, to be completely honest. Offensive power ups can auto lock on the enemies. Kill three enemies with the hunter pistol. That's two, that's three. Killing enemies grants blood droplets, which increase maximum speed. Ooh. Interesting. Press LT, RT to aim camera. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. It's a freaking wolf. I think I sh shouldn't have crashed into him. But the hunter awakes to a misty dream surrounded by a host of peculiar character. Or peculiar characters. I cannot read. Also that mate over there is very very pale. Next max ne next match location. I am so sorry about my English today. Pocket Dream Circuit, Match Type Race. Let's save. Might as well. Just in case. And let's continue. Now that we know the basics, I think we should be fine. But only time will tell. Must be the new participant. I am Herman, and this is Onet, my animated servant who tends to my every need. I. <laughs> you must be confused, but try not to think too hard about all this. Just go out and win a few races, and it'll all be over before you know it. <laughs> okay, seems simple enough. I still think they are a bit quiet, the dialogues. Dream circuit. But this one is very loud, so... Did you know doing air tricks will generate air miles for boosting? Yes, I did play the tutorial. I'm gonna go back into the audio again and I'm gonna try to boost the voice a little bit. Let's give it 250. There we go. Let's see how we do on the racetrack. Seems like it's only four enemies. We are already second. That's pretty neat. Oh, we are first. Let's go. We are freaking first. So far so good. So far I think we are winning. It would be pretty cool to win our first race, not gonna lie. Lap 2 out of 3. We are so far ahead. To see it. Seems like there might be a shortcut in the middle of the track. 
Or maybe I'm just seeing things. I'm not sure if uh, running through enemies gives you boosts as well. There are skeletons on the track. We shall see how it goes. Final lap, we are still far ahead. This is nice. To be fair, this is a very simple track. It's just the good old circuit, you know. Let's go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think we got this, guys. Let's go. Amazing. The hunter is first. Herman is second. The Dream Watcher is third. Pretty, pretty good time, I would say. And our reward is... Insight and some droplets. Reddit sword unlocked for campaign. Why is there a sword? After leaving the rules of the road, the hunter embarks on their journey through the city of Merolaidia in search of answers a fellow outsider one who claims to have vast knowledge of the cursed city and its inhabitants beckons through the hazy pane of a dimly lit window and whims that the hunt is on tonight and that the first race is soon to begin. Didn't we just finish the first race? I'm slightly confused. Next match, location, Myrolodia Expressway. Alrighty, let's save the game. Just in case. And let's continue. Let's see how this strike will look like. Miralodia Expressway! Okay. There is a puppy and a bunch of skeletons. I think we will manage. Let's freaking go. Ooh, there is actually eight racers in this tray. Interesting. Man, I got stuck. God dang it. Okay. This might be harder than I thought. Only by a little bit. What happened? Ooh. What the heck is happening? People are fighting. What's my weapon? I have no clue. I am second though, that's pretty good. Being second is pretty, pretty good. Now we are first. What the heck? Some huge monster popped in and of course I freaking crashed. Holy moly, this is intense. Oh man, okay. My health is not looking too good. And I keep getting hit.
Holy moly, ok. Spooky sounds. Ok, ok, ok. <laughs> We are back to being first, and this is the final lap. I am almost dead, though, so... You need to be careful, holy body, that monster looks scary. And sounds scary as well, probably. Holy moly, indeed. We are quite ahead at the moment. Hopefully that won't change anytime soon. We are almost at the finish line. This is going to be insane. What the heck is this? I don't know what happened there, to be completely honest. And I ended second. Someone used a power up and freaking sniped me at the very end. That's not very nice. I'm gonna replay this race, I think. With their first taste of victory, the hunter sets their sights on the Myra Lodia underground and descends into the grimy abyss. Alrighty, alrighty. I should probably replay that level and try to get a W. Select melee weapon. Ooh. I kind of like the rusty laser because it does the most damage. Next match location, Myro Lady and Sewer Arena match type battle. I guess we don't need to be first. I'm still gonna replay the level. Oh, actually, we can replay levels whenever we want. So, I'm just gonna save the game. And I'm gonna see what the next one is. Let's continue. I don't know how long the campaign is, but we can probably come back to some of the other levels. Mirolodian Sewer Arena. So what's this? Defeat the enemy ten times to win. So it's like a death match, okay. Skeletons versus the hunters or something? Seems doable. Need to get a power up. There we go. So the green ones are me, I assume. And the enemies are red. Or something. Someone is following me. I'm looking at the minimap. Okay, we managed to hit him once. Nice. This is actually gonna be difficult. Okay, we hit another one. Nice. I think one of them actually perished. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. Another one bites the dust, I assume. Nice, nice, nice. 
No, did you see that? That was... That was a pretty cool attack. Sadly we died as well, but... I assume we have 10 lives or something. I don't know if we are doing good or not. Seems to me like maybe we are. Skeleton died, let's go. So did I win? 7-4, I think we did. Nice. Some more inside, some more droplets, and we unlocked Spark Cave. Okay. That seems fun. The hunter emerges from their scrape in the cesspit and steals into the Angel Graveyard, grounds located on the city outskirts, named after the great beings of worship. There, in the shadow of Meraloidia's towering visage, they encounter a blood-spattered hunter atop a roaring motorcycle. The merciless father Gregory bears his hunter eggs and launches into battle. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see this new weapon. Ooh, that's the most damage we've seen so far. Let's equip it. The next match is apparently special, so let's save the game. And let's continue. The snarls of filthy beasts. Beasts who must be hunted. Beasts who must be slaughtered. It's only a matter of time until you become one. A freaking intro, holy moly, is this a boss fight? I think it is a boss fight. Okay, we damaged him at least a little bit. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. this is gonna be rough though. This is gonna be rough. Yo, what the heck, boulders? There we go, we got a hit. Another hit, let's go. Gregory, father. It do be the father, Gregory, you are absolutely correct. Why is he behind us? Yo, let's go. He didn't see that coming. He didn't see that coming. Okay, we are losing a little bit of health. He's right behind us. I need to do some trick shots, I suppose. Nice, we shot him. We shot him good. Another shot, let's go. Let's freaking go. He's behind us. I wish I could do some other way of drifting. That didn't work. 
is right on my tail. And I am without a gun, I just realized. Okay. I don't know if that hit him or not. I'm gonna assume probably not. Oh my goodness. He's got less health than me at least, so that's good. Sometimes the gun doesn't seem to work. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button for some reason. God dang it. Okay. That explains it. I didn't expect the freaking Nightmare card to have actual boss fights as well. That's pretty cool though. I like it. I like it a lot. He's got a freaking minigun. What the heck? You died. He's got a freaking minigun. What the heck? Okay, lesson learned. We cannot ram into him. Keep that in mind. We need to redo this portion of the fight. Because of the skill issues I displayed. That's alright though, that's alright. I should only shoot him when he's in front of me, because otherwise... It doesn't work the way I want it to. Oh my god, I missed him. I freaking missed him. He's so fast at the spinning movements. Okay, we shot each other there. Sometimes it do be like that. There we go, nice. Yo, we got to this part quicker this time around. Okay, let's keep in mind not to uh, not to ram into him. Let's keep our distance. We should be fine. Why cannot I move? There we go. Nice. Take a new weapon. Okay, good, good, good. Yo, he's doing so much damage though, what the heck? What the heck indeed? Oops. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I think that hit as well. Potentially. <laughs> Ooh, that was luck. Let's go. He's one hit away from dying, I think. He's surrounded. Ooh, you hunted. <laughs> I indeed I did. I hunted, that's for sure. It only took us second try. 2 minutes 35, I don't know if that's a good time or not. But apparently I'm first, so that's pretty good. And we got some droplets. Yo, we unlocked his skin, his 
car and I assume his weapon. Let's go. Now we can be Father Gregory. Having bested Father Gregory, the hunter becomes privy to a shred of insight. Their newfound knowledge illuminates the path forward, the truth of this nightmare and the means to escape. It lies in the old clock tower just beyond a faded den of slithering serpents, the Forbidden Forest. Forbidden Forest, you say? I suppose that's the next uh, racing track. Indeed it is. Well, first things first. Um, I'm gonna keep the car I have, because I always in these games prefer the ones that have better handling. You know? Now, weapon-wise... I will take the one from the boss we defeated, because that does some insane damage. Let's jump into it. Let's see... What happens next? So far, this is very fun. Forbidden Forest! You can power break during the countdown to boost on the go. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna try that. Oh, no, it works, okay, cool. I don't know which way to go, no. <laughs> holy moly, okay. Man, these enemies are absolutely freaking ruthless, what the heck? What the heck indeed? I am fought. Nice. What hit me? I don't even know. When there is this many enemies, it's surprisingly difficult to figure out. But we are almost first. This. I got freaking wrecked. What the heck? What the heck in the end? That's not good at all. <laughs> Maybe we can still catch up though. We are third place. Which is not too bad, I suppose. Enemy is directly in front of us. Let me get some good weapon, I suppose. <laughs> there we go, we slowed him down, let's go. And that should do it, that should do it. I don't know where the other enemy is. It seems like he's far, far ahead. And we got slowed down. Oh my goodness. This is exactly like Mario Kart. But with blood and gore. Which is pretty cool. I've been thrown off the track. Twice. Oh my goodness. I am freaking seventh. Like, what the heck? Ah, 
how did I lose so hard all of a sudden? I think I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to redo this level, probably. Man, the camera is sometimes... a little confusing, that's for sure. Okay, we are back to fourth place. I assume we need to be in the top 3 in order to proceed to the next chapter, so... It's probably gonna require a reboot, but that's alright. Sometimes it'd be like that. What the heck? Well, at least I'm third. I'm not sure what that enemy was trying to accomplish there. all right no well actually maybe not so bad uh, I think we lost we are fourth That is a difficult level, especially the jumping section. Holy moly. Yeah, we didn't... Uh, I mean, we still got some droplets at least. But we definitely need to redo this level. Whoops. Uh, yeah, we need to redo the forest. Yeah. So, let's continue. I am fine with that. We did poorly after all. Forbidden Forest! Now, let's try to actually survive this time around. I think the key to victory will be to not get hit as much. How is this fair? I got attacked by a bird before the race even started. Heavily unlucky. Okay, finally some weapons coming in. I'm not even sure what that weapon I took did for me. But suddenly I am... Oh, I am first, kind of. Kind of, kind of first. Man, stop shooting me! How dare you? How can he shoot? How can he freaking shoot? Let's freaking go. Holy moly. I keep forgetting to drift. Completely my bad too. No, I got shot me there. That's so freaking unfair. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. Getting shot me there. Because the slowdown from that is absolutely massive. That's alright though, that's alright. We will manage. At least I hope. I think the one that was in fr front of me died. That's pretty cool. Holy moly. 
the spooky noises don't help me focus, that's for sure. I got sniped. I don't even know where I am. But apparently I am somehow 8. How am I 8? I was first this whole time. What? I'm going the correct way, what the heck? I'm so confused. I am so confused. Can I restart? I can. Something bugged out there, I think. I think they clipped me out of bounds and somehow it reset my position or something. That's alright. That's alright, let's give it another shot. This is surprisingly intense. I wish it had online mode, that's for sure. Like, can you imagine this with uh, like a bunch of people? It's so freaking cool. Okay. Holy moly, these enemies are completely, completely ruthless. They keep shooting me. There is nothing I can do about it. Flipper chain wheels. No, that's a pretty cool power up. How come I never had it before? That is a pretty cool power up indeed. Holy moly. Nice. Sadly, I missed with the eggs, but I am first. Please don't kill me midair again. That's all I'm asking. Yo, let's go. Let's freaking go. Potentially, we got this. We are pretty low health wise, that's true. I'm not sure what that was. So then definitely something scary. That's for sure, that's for sure. We are we are currently miles ahead. They can still snipe me, but uh, potentially we should be fine. If we are this far ahead, I don't think they can even snipe us. But who knows? Who knows? We can also still mess up in the jumping area. What the heck are those noises? Spooky, spooky. Something spooky is happening, that's for sure. This was lap 2 out of 3. Yeah, I think we are doing nicely. I think we are doing nicely. I am feeling optimistic. Holy moly. I like how the music is so happy sounding, like this isn't some forest of the dead situation, you know. Pretty, pretty fun. This is also a pretty big track in comparison to the previous ones. 
I feel like the previous ones had much quicker lives. But yeah, I think we are about to take a W. I don't wanna speak too soon, but... The final obstacle is this mid-air section. And we dealt with it nicely. Oh, we are freaking first, let's go. The hunter is first, and the other ones are still somewhere in the back. Holy moly. Pretty good lap time. The third one was the fastest. I like it. 15 inside. I'm not sure what the droplets are used for, but we unlocked... Moped. I'm kind of tempted to check out some of the other vehicles, but lost deep in the forest, the hunter aimlessly roams. In their fear, they make a dreadful revelation. The serpents have started to speak. Holy moly. They started to speak. So the next area, next match is an arena, so it's another versus, okay. For the versus, I think we could try a different car. Let's try the moped. I'm gonna keep the same weapon, I think. Yeah, and let's continue. I should have saved, probably. That's alright, I'm gonna save after this mission. What's this? A lonely hunter lost in the woods. Trying to get to the old clock tower, are you? <laughs> lost little hunter thinks knowledge will be found there. Rummaging around that decrepit old tower will only upset her. Oh yes, and we would want that. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to have any fun with you if you go off and get killed by her now, would we? How about a little game? Defeat the three of us, and we'll show you the way. <laughs> Alrighty. Forbidden Forest Arena! Sounds fun. Capture the insight. Grab the insight and return it to the base five times to win. Holy moly, it's captured the flag, but with cars. And it's just me against them. How is this fair? <laughs> the inside has been grabbed, I suppose. Return to score. Score here. Okay. I guess I'm doing it. Nice inside games. <laughs> inside gained. I guess I'm doing it. We grabbed it again. Yo, okay. Inside gained. This is easier than probably intended. Maybe I'm just getting lucky with avoiding the enemies or something. That could be it. That could be definitely it. I don't think it's meant to be this easy. Inside game, let's go. How many do we need to get? I think it was five. Oh, it's the enemy! They got the inside. Yeah, 
Well, I shoot the big door. Inside lost, that's alright. Yes, I got the inside now. I am getting a little bamboozled here. But that's alright, we need to get five. So one more should do it. And we freaking got it, let's go. This was easy peasy. I assume it would be much harder against online players though. For sure. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Total inside 18. I'm not sure what the stuff is used for, but we unlocked. New character and new car, I assume. The Matilda sisters having been defeated lead the way to the great clock tower, a citadel housing the secrets of Hunter's past. And beknownst to the Hunter, a strangely familiar figure lies in wait. Strangely familiar figure, you say? That could be anyone. But it's a race. It's a race. We can ride the freaking giant boar. It's absolutely massive, but the handling is absolutely terrible. I think... For the race... Let's try out the card we unlocked from the first boss fight. And for the weapons, you know what? Let's try out the threaded sword. Let's save the game. Might as well switch it around a little bit, you know. And let's see what this next challenge is all about. I assume it's a normal race. I absolutely love the design of this clock. It's a beautiful clock. Some knowledge should be left forgotten. Oh, I know very well. The sweet sounds of secrets whispered in your ear. There is only one cure for a hunter as intoxicated as yourself. That's such a freaking cool introduction to her freaking car. Like what the heck? Absolutely freaking amazing. Now I have the car with more more uh, weight and such, so I assume it maybe has a bigger life or something. Not too sure. <laughs> nice. We are fifth. Which is not good. But still, it's only the first lap. Slowly and surely, we can definitely get some W's. We are third. Seems good to me. I think the main issue is that whoever is first usually gets a huge boost. That wretched old man would rather dance with you than accept reality. 
this angelic knowledge you seek. It is doomed to lead you to madness, like it did with poor Nicholas. Die now. How about no? I am not planning to perish here. At least not yet. I'm getting unlucky with the uh, power ups. Okay, we are second. We are second. I cannot get close enough to attack the car in front of me. It's so far ahead. I need to get some good power up, I think. No, I got slowed down, god dang it. God dang it. Yeah, I'm too far to do this. Nice. We are second. If I can get a good weapon and sniped the enemy in front of me, I think we would be good. But this is the end of the race, so I don't think we will get that. Yo, so freaking close though, did you see that finish? Still though, being second is still good enough to proceed, I think, for now. Therefore, I am satisfied. We unlocked the Astral Monogear and something something for the free play, apparently. I guess we are unlocking the characters for free play. Nicholas, the name echoes in the hunter's mind, the angelic knowledge that the mistress spoke of. Perhaps this Nicholas could unlock the answers to this nightmare. Armed with the information, the hunter begins their return journey to the city of Miralodia to find him, although the threat will be fraught with danger. A friendly face suits the nerve. We get to meet a friend along the way, that sounds pretty exciting. Okay, we will be in the Angel Arena. It's gonna be a battle. So, let's take the boar. Let's keep the sword, I suppose. Let's save the game. And let's see what this is all about. I decided to take the boar because I figured it would be good health-wise. For Arena, at least. Oh, what do we have here? A hunter conscripted against their will. How amusing, with that arm of yours. Trying to make your way back into Mirlodia proper. Be warned, as the city sinks deeper into the darkest umbra of the night, the beast within will offer no quarter. But enough talk. Take this. You will not be able to re-enter without a proper fight. Okay. Angel, Angel Arena. Arena! We got something. I'm not sure what we received. Team Bloodbath. I assume it's a weapon or something. Look at me on the freaking boar. It's so weird to be so far off the ground as well.
So where are the enemies? Oh, they are blue. I am red. I see. I see. Man, drifting with the boar is definitely not the easiest task. That's for sure. I have difficulties. I am managing to hit them, but they are moving much faster than me, that's for sure. I think my ammunition is infinite. So that's pretty good. They are drifting much faster than me. My gun is not working for some reason. There we go. Load droplets retrieved. If you kill someone, you can pick up their stuff. That's good to know. That's good to know. Oh, let's go freaking double kill. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. I love the audio design in this game. It is very nostalgic. Why is my gun not working? Oh, the gun is using uh, nitro as the... What's the name of it? As ammunition. That's why. That's why, that's why. Interesting, interesting. Oh, and the white thingies give me nitro. I see, I see. So that's how it is. That's how, how it is. Okay. Now that I know it, this will go much easier, I think. Just when I said it will go easier, I freaking perished. Some power-ups like the Noble Pistol require 8 wiles. Yeah, I figured that out. A bit late for the tutorial. Where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? No. I really tried to get five, but you know, four one we still won. Still pretty, pretty good. We have so many droplets. New motorcycle unlocked. Nice. I'm happy with the results. The hunter parts ways with the raven and returns to central Merolodia as the darkness of the night seeps into every corner of the cursed city. The search for Nicholas will have to wait. There are beasts that need to be culled. The perfect job for a hunter. You know what? That sounds like a job for me. Also, I like how the, the skeletons have split skulls. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. We will no longer play with the boar. Uh, 
I don't wanna try the astral gear. You know what? Let's try the crow feather motorcycle. That's the one we just unlocked. And as for weapons, let's try out. I don't know. Let's go back to the normal sword, I suppose. Save the game. And let's continue. We are plumbing through this game. I don't know how long the campaign is, but... Uh, Central Neurolodian Courtyard! So far so good, that's for sure. The hunt. Collect 4,000 blood droplets from enemy mobs to win. Okay. Seems doable. Well now. I assume we can just smack into enemies to get that sorted. So we should be fine. As long as I keep killing enemies. Yeah, we are winning at the moment. Nice. Nice. 1700. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think the skeleton dogs drop blood. That's alright, that's alright. Enemies respawn. I have the most droplets, let's go. Did I win? I think I won. Cool, cool, cool. That was a quick mission. Quick and easy. The hunter seeks out the ever helpful outsider whose knowledge of the cursed city could help them locate Nicholas. But the pain of his window is dark and inside his abode lurks abominations of the night. Abominations of the night. Well, let's see. It's gonna be a race. It's gonna be a race. For a race. You know what? I'm gonna keep the one we have. Yeah, let's keep everything. Let's save the game. Let's jump into it. Outsider's Mansion. Power up well reloaded. I didn't know that. I thought they would not get collected. I like the curtains flowing in the wind. Definitely a cool visual. Somehow I'm first. Never mind. Never mind. Holy moly, that worked out nicely. 
That worked out very nicely. I used the chainsaw power up on everybody. This is a very small arena basically where you need to be careful not to get constantly shot by the enemies. It seems. Also, hello there, BB Cat Moon Glow. Hello, hello, hello. It is going very, very well. I hope you are doing well as well. Currently playing Nightmare Card. Sometimes there are some skill issues, but we are dealing with it. We are definitely dealing with it. I made a full loop to look. The last enemy is now behind me as well. Which is pretty cool. Yo, what the heck was that? What the heck indeed? Man, the enemies are getting a bit frisky. That's for sure. <laughs> nice direct hit. Love to see it. Another direct hit. Holy moly. We are first. Let's freaking go. Absolutely amazing. Also, thank you for the pipe bomb. UD Ninja, I hope you are doing well today. Bomb detonation countdown successfully started. Always nice to see you around. You are dropping bombs on the wolves. Oh no. Did they get bombed? I didn't see the bombs spawning. Also, we unlocked a bunch of stuff as per usual. After consulting the Outsider's directory, the hunter travels to Meralodia College, where Nicholas is set to dwell. What they find within may only raise more questions. It's not bombs, it's pipe bombs. Holy moly. Also, I completely forgot to shout out the QT over here, so let's do that. And before we jump into the next level, I'm gonna drop some pipe bombs. There we go. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. We are at level 11. Level 11. The next match location is triple question mark. I wonder what the heck that means. I wanna try out the Astral Monogear for a spin. And weapon wise, I wanna try... Let's take the... Beast Razor, I think. Let's save the game. Oh dear indeed. Let's see how this turns up for us. Will we get the W on first try? Ah, yes. The architect. Do you not hear our pleas? We should not awaken from this nightmare. You cannot stop us. You cannot catch us. <laughs> oh. 
what the heck he when where did he went? Um Nicholas host of nightmares. So do do I just need to run him over? Where is he? Where the heck is he? He's hiding somewhere. Um Yo, I found him, let's go. This is gonna be difficult, man. He's a bit too fast for me. Um, let's see, can we do this? Does he follow the same path at least? Or is he completely randomized? I think he's following the same path. How the heck am I supposed to catch him? Though? Like he's so freaking fast. Any tips would be appreciated. I have no clue. I think I need to build up my nitro or something in order to have the speed that's required. But I'm not too sure. Room of room indeed. I'm gonna go this way. I don't think this will work, but what if... Surprise him from the other side, sadly it didn't work. Sadly it didn't work. Okay. Okay, we faced him into somewhere. I suppose that works as well. I have no clue what's going on. I hit him once though. Okay, he's down with health. Nice. He's still just running around, like what the heck. This is the most insane boss fight you can imagine. Holy moly, holy moly. Okay, he's doing collapse. How did he appear behind me? I missed him with the melee attacks. That's alright, let's pick up another weapon. I don't think that hit him. Where is he? Let's go. This nightmare will never end. What does he mean by that? And where did he go? I don't see him anywhere. I assume he must be somewhere in here too. In the maze areas again.
Yeah, he's clearly not in here. cool but uh, how does that help me maybe it's a round system and you need to like determine us your angelic eyes. free us of our beastly humanity we wish to behold the forbidden dream and be reborn I picked up some sort of a item. I'm not sure where I am, but I found him. Let's go. No, he freaking teleported. He freaking teleported. And I don't know where. Moonshine. I'm so confused. Okay, so this gate closes when I get closer to it. us your angelic. I am so confused by this boss fight. I don't know what they want me to do. Very, very confusing. Let's try going this way. That doesn't work. Using the turbo into the door also doesn't work. Maybe we need to go back this way. And figure out where that portal leads. I think I already found a solution. There he freaking is. Round two of the fight. I don't think I hit him. It's alright. He's alright. Where is he? There he is. Nice. That was quick. I fell in between the tracks. Thankfully, the boss fight has a checkpoint. So we didn't lose any progress. Nice. Hunter's 
I have no idea what is he on about. The heck? That's all I can say. What the heck? What the heck are we doing here? This cannot be happening. The nightmare mustn't end. Let's. You freaking hunted, let's freaking go. I hunted so dang hard. Wasn't so bad, but 10 minutes, that's a pretty long fight. That's a third place, apparently you can beat him in under 4 minutes. To be fair, I wasn't sure what I was doing half the time. Pretty, pretty complicated. I think the birdcage car could be interesting. Having bested the Keeper of the Nightmare, the Hunter returns to the Misty Dream, seeking answers about the Architect from the beings that first initiated the Hunter only to find preparations underway for the final race as the false reality that is the dream begins to collapse. Okay, one final final race apparently is uh, uh, upon us. That's exciting. Level 12. Okay, the dream course. Alrighty, alrighty. Ooh, the birdcage has pretty good handling. I'm gonna try it out. We didn't get any new weapons, so I'm gonna keep the beast razor, I think. Let's save the game. Just in case. Let's see what happens in the final race. Pocket Dream Course! Can boost the yeah. Wait a minute, if I am playing with the bird cage, am I just running around without a car? Oh my god, I freaking am. This is amazing, what the heck? Yo, let's freaking go, Sonic Mania! Look at me freaking go. That is bonkers. Holy moly. I love it. That explains why the handling is so good. Since you don't have wheels, you don't need to worry about handling and such. Yo, the sound effects though. Somehow I am fifth. Somehow I am fifth. I might need to switch to something faster. If I wanna get a W in here. To be fair, running on feet would be kind of slow. So it makes sense. God dang it, okay. Picking bears or something in the background. Nice, nice, nice. We are number four. Not great. Not the worst either, though. Lap two. If we get lucky, we can probably still catch her. <laughs> I have a freaking machine gun, what the heck? 
No. I have the machine gun attached to the bird cage as well. That's pretty funny. That's pretty freaking funny. Holy moly. But yeah, we definitely need a faster car. That's for sure. I'm having difficulties picking up the power-ups. There we go. There we freaking go. Oh man, we were second and we got shot. Now we are fifth. Now we are fist. <laughs> the final lap and I am somehow first. I don't know how that happened. I am also almost dead, so I can die any moment now. As I said. I predicted my own future, I suppose. Third place, second place. It's not completely lost. I just need to catch up to the fella in the first place, I suppose. Also, if we win in second place, that still counts as victory in this game. So, as long as nobody overtakes us, we should be fine. Holy moly, holy moly. And you still haven't tried this game because you are just busy. You know what, that's fair enough. I was looking at the... Recent popular releases and such. And I seen this in there and immediately figured I wanna test it out. So we are third. I don't know if third place counts as victory, but let's give it a look, I suppose. The final race, you would suspect the final one to be difficult, that's for sure. I don't think I did too badly considering I was running on feet. We unlocked the horseless carry. Ooh. That sounds nice. As the night comes to a close, the hunter confronts Herman about the truth behind the dream and its architect. But the old man had something different in mind. Herman, alongside all the other uh, participants, encountered during the dream gather for one final hunt, one final battle, where only one hunter will remain standing. So we had a final race and now we have a final battle. Alrighty, alrighty. That sounds doable, that sounds doable. Before I jump into it though, let me give a shout out to the amazing Uraite. There we go. Very, very lovely streamer. Yo, the horse's carriage is actually kind of Kind of looking like a good thing to test out in a battle mode. I'm gonna keep my current weapon, I think. Let's save the game. And let's see what this is all about. Now loading. Pocket Dream Field! Alrighty, alrighty. 
No response. Holy moly. That's a lot of folks. I think we will do fine. I think we will do fine. I could also wait around. Maybe Margot died, what the heck. I could work, work, wait around and basically let them kill one another, you know. That could work, that could work. Nicholas perished. Herman died. We are living. All of my shots are missing. Yo, let's go. I got a kill. I got a freaking kill. Where are the enemies? Yo, another kill. Let's freaking go. I see you over there. I don't think that hit you, but... I do see you over there. I need to get some weapon. That's healing, that doesn't help me. It's just 1v1, I think. It is just 1v1. I'm not sure what that item did. I think I damaged the enemy, I'm not too sure. I'm just not getting lucky with the power-ups. There we go, we have a gun. We have a gun. I think that was a headshot. Okay, that one missed. You don't mean to fall down here. Yo, there is the maid behind the fence. And we freaking won. Let's go. The Matilda sisters died. That was easy. To be fair, nobody really tried to even attack us. We were basically the entire time with full HP, so that's pretty nice. Yep. The car of every enemy set on fire. Kind hunter. Here we stand at the end of this nightmare. The denizens of the dream with their silly customs, have attempted to use you to further their own selfish goals. Why are you whispering? But your role in this is greater than anything you could have imagined. Kind Hunter, I offer you freedom. Freedom from this nightmare. Do you accept?
The truth has been revealed. The city of Beralodia traced the nightmare. It was all born from an ancient yearning to make contact with angels, cosmic beings beyond our understanding, now at the end of this terrible dream. Onete offers to free you from this nightmare. Do you accept? Well, will it actually let me choose? Submit life, refuse. Submit life sounds like uh, getting into a relationship. You know what? I will submit my life. Sure, why not? Nice to see you dance, Monix. The head is so freaking huge. I cannot even see what's happening. That's quite the fashion statement. Seems like I lost my head, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, it was all just a dream. My eyes are lost forever, or I'm wearing some really cool shades, I cannot tell. But we freaking did it! We freaking defeated the game by Lilith Walter. Let's freaking go! Music by Evelyn Lark. Absolutely amazing. Art and writing by Mino. Father Gregory, Gianni, so on and so forth. You can read it if you want, but yeah, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 game. The only only thing that this game is missing is like online lobbies and such so that you can play against people. I think that would be really freaking cool. But it's understandable, you know, it's a free indie game. You cannot expect online mode out of that because online mode is kind of complicated to do and I assume expensive to run. Still though, really, really well made game. Definitely 10 out of 10 from me, especially for being free. This is like insanely good. Insanely fun, insanely good. And free to download on Steam. Heavily, heavily recommended. Funded by part by Patreon, which was supported by... See, I didn't even realize this game had Patreon. If I, if I knew about that... I would have maybe supported it as well. But yeah, I found this game randomly on Steam basically like two days ago. During the next fest festival. If you are watching on YouTube, uh, that's been probably like three months ago or something. My man, my backlog of videos is so freaking huge. It's like two months or something. But yeah, definitely a fun game. I'm gonna let the credits roll. 
might as well see those who made it possible through their support. But yeah, they, they really don't make games like this these days. You only really have indie developers that even attempt to make such uh, fantastic experiences. And I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Because this, for sure, was an amazing experience. And I am really, really glad I decided to stream it. Because I was actually tempted to just play it off in my off time. I was tempted to not stream it, but I figured, you know what? Let's check it out on stream. Let's see how it goes. And I am glad I did. Uh, it was quite short. The campaign only took us under two hours. We didn't get uh, first place everywhere, though. And I don't think I will, because... That one boss fight where we spent 10 minutes on it, I, that's, that's gonna be rough to get the golden time in, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun, supported even by Megan Fox, what the heck. Mouth Breather, that's another game, I'm pretty sure. Or mount something. Some of these names are kind of funny. Kind of funny, kind of funny. But yeah. And the music in this game is also pretty nice. It's overall just a really good, a really good nostalgic vibe. Definitely looks the part as if you took it out of PlayStation 1 or something, which is always nice. I love when games do that. Speaking of which, there are some other retro looking games that I'm gonna be streaming very very soon. Such as Corn Kids 64, Lena's uh, Inception, and some other stuff as well. So that's pretty exciting. Supported by trans rights. You know what? That's also amazing. And our total time is 1639. Question mark. I'm not sure what that means. Total droplets almost 8,000. Let's save the progress. Now, before I actually quit out of this game, there is New Game Plus, which is pretty cool. The hunter awakes to a misty dream surrounded by a host of peculiar characters. Yeah, this is... we are back at the beginning. We have so many cards. Operating table. I don't think we tried this one. No new weapons, unfortunately. Alright, let's quit to the main menu. Isn't that the coolest intro ever? Absolutely freaking amazing. And my controller is no longer working. If the game for some reason detects my controller as being... Nightmare card. And that will do for the... Nightmare car. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.